I'm Lee Mather and I'm the game director of F1 2018 and I'm here at the moment stood on the Silverstone wing and soon I'm going to take you downstairs into one of the garages where I'm going to talk about some of the career enhancements that we've made to F1 2018. The big thing this year is very much the media are going to play a huge part in the player's career. It's super important for a driver these days to not just be skilled on track, it's all about being the complete package. In F1 2018 we've got a new media character called Claire and she will approach you at various points to ask you questions that are relevant to what's going on through the season. And this could relate to multiple things, it could be on contract moves, it could be on performances in races, it could be on your teammate, on other drivers. The player's going to need to really take into consideration how that impacts on not only the morale of the team, so certain departments will feel demotivated, the time and the price or the unreliability of upgrades will increase but also how other teams in the paddock perceive them. So it may be that a certain team would like to see a driver who's a great sportsman, demure and good in front of the press, doesn't ever rock the boat, doesn't say anything nasty about anybody, even under high pressure situations. Or it may be that you want somebody who's more of a showman. Some teams really want somebody who got that character, that effervescence, that buzz with the media. And sometimes they may say things a little bit off the cuff, that cause a bit of controversy. As you become reputable in the paddock, you will open up different answers which will allow you to really exert your character within the game. And we also wanted to create some new locations as well. So Claire will perform interviews in areas within the back of the paddock, so between the lorries and the trucks, but also in front of the Weybridge and the scrutineering areas. Answering questions to the media will give an instant outcome there and then. If you impact negatively or positively on a department or your relationship with a team, be that your team or another team, you'll be made aware of that. But you've also got to realise maybe later in the season, these will get pulled up again. And if you've made a promise earlier in the season that you intend to achieve something, that might get pulled up again by the press. You really don't want to make yourself look like an idiot by over-promising, but also you don't want to rubbish people. It's important to maintain a level of professionalism in the game. This is an entirely new system compared to what we did in 2010. It's not built upon any of that technology. The whole thing is tied very closely to all areas of your career. So, for example, something we did last year with the perks system, the player couldn't choose which perks they wanted to unlock. Now you actually use those perks as bargaining tools as part of your contract. You can now task your agent to get you a drive with any particular team. You will then go into a negotiation stage. And this is something that we're actually extending across the whole season as well. So there will be key points in the season where the contract windows open again. So it may be that you take that risk of moving teams during the season. It may be that you move to a team that have got worse R&D than you or a car that doesn't suit you as well. But the perks may look more attractive. You may think that you can progress your career quicker by going to another team. It's super important that I have a value as a player and that value is really important. If I start to overvalue myself, a team isn't gonna go with the contract that I want. If I say I'm gonna achieve this and I fail, my value with those teams will go down. In F1 2018, the player will have rivalry with their teammate. That's always the benchmark for how good you are within the team, because obviously you're using exactly the same machinery. But you can also now challenge another rival off the grid. So you can pick who you want to try and beat. And the key thing with that is you can bet your skill level against another driver. If I'm performing reasonably well and I say, I'm going to go and beat Lewis Hamilton, I'm going to beat Sebastian Vettel, that's setting your stall out as I'm a strong driver, I can beat the top in the sport. And for that, your reward will be huge in terms of your reputation within the paddock and that will benefit you in multiple areas of your career. Broadcast style for Formula One has always been something that we've been super passionate about, really representing the sport very cinematically, giving those beautiful intros, having real world commentators talking about what's going on. So this year we've expanded that system to take into account a lot more of what's going on throughout the course of the season. So now race intros will feature things that have occurred in previous races. The press will refer to things that have happened in previous races. So it's not just a case of on a race by race basis. This is a long season and everything that happens will play out through the eyes of the media and through your team.